Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSecPat. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is RIP, Routing Information Protocol. What is RIP? It's a distant vector IGP routing protocol, an interior gateway protocol. So if you want to route traffic on your internal networks, maybe it's a small network, maybe it's your lab, this is the perfect solution for you. So without the further ado, let's get into it and have some fun. Thank you. How you doing guys? Welcome back to InfoSec Patch channel. In today's video, what we're gonna do is I wanna show you how to configure RIP version two. No, not rest in peace, the routing information protocol. All right, so we're gonna be doing this on some Cisco routers and prepare you for any kind of small implementation that you want to do with some dynamic routing protocol such as RIP. All right, cool. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so what we're going to do here first, we're going to go ahead and get some network devices. We're going to get two routers. Okay, we'll name this R1 and R2. Perfect. We need some routers to configure RIP. Okay, so we just need two PCs. All right, let's do PC1 and PC2. Perfect. All right, so now what we, can, what we need to do is connect them. So we'll just go right here into the connections. We'll use the auto, the auto um, connection from the PC to router one. Same thing with the connection from PC router two. Okay, so these two are gonna be using serial connections between the two, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's go ahead into PC1 and configure the desktop IP. So it's gonna be 192.168.100.2 with a 24 bit mask, and then the gateway is gonna be 100.1, okay, as you see here. Um, let's go ahead and configure PC2 with the same thing, but the third octet is gonna be 200. Okay, perfect. So 192.168.200.2. Okay, perfect. All right, so those are the two configuration between uh, for the PCs. So now let's go ahead and get this, the routers configured. So a little tricky thing, by default, if you try to open up your, your, um, your router here, hit no for a second. I want to make this bigger for a minute. So if you do show IP interface brief, right? We don't have any serial connections. All we have is gigabit zero, which is going to be going to PC one. So where are we going to connect the, the, the serial connection? Obviously, we, I want to show you how to do that right now. Go to physical. We have to shut this off. Set up the HWIC2 card. So um, install that, sorry, and then uh, power it up. And then we'll see that powering on. Let's do the same thing for R2. Shut this off. Bring in the wink, the wink, the wink, 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 the wick card. Turn that bad boy back on and let that do its thing. Okay. So once that's configured, we can go back to uh, the serial, connect these two, and now we can see now we can see that we have the connection for the serial, all right? So go into here, you hit no. Now if we do show IP interface brief, we have the serial. Boom, okay? So that's, that's our topology for this setup, this video today. So now let's go ahead and go into router one and get this configured on the 192.168.100 network. All right, so let's go like this. Like, whoop, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Bring this over so I can see it in here. Perfect. Now I can bring this over a little bit and I have some more reading room. Okay, so we're going to go into privilege mode because we were just in user mode. So in privilege mode, we can do configure, configure terminal. Okay, now we're in configuration mode. Now we have to go into interface gigabit zero slash one. 
I'm zero, that's zero, sorry. And now this is gonna be on the 192.168.100 segment. So we here we can do an IP address 192.168.100.1 with a 24-bit mask. Okay, perfect. Now we can do no shutdown to bring that protocol up, bring that interface up, sorry. And now end here. Let's do a WR to, conf to save the config. So technically, if we go into my, to our PC here, we can do an IP config, just like in Windows. And now technically, we should be able to ping our gateway. Do you think we can? It's a 50-50 chance, right? And it's replying. Perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the same thing on router two, okay? Well, we can just configure the whole thing for router one, okay? So do you just wanna do the whole configuration? So we'll just do everything while we're on this side and then we'll bring the, the topology on that side when we'll configure on the other side. Cool, so let's go into configure terminal, serial interface, serial zero slash zero slash zero, okay? Perfect. Now we can do IP address, and this side is going to be 172.16.100.1 with a slash 30 subnet, and that's 255.255.255.252 and dotted decimal. Okay, no shutdown. Perfect. So now we're in here, we're going to do the clock rate. Okay, 64,000. That's going to be the speed. Okay, perfect. So that's that. Let's go ahead and end that. Show IP, or you can do show run and config. And let's go to the interface serial. Now, as we can see it here, it's configured. Okay, and gigabit zero, uh, zero, zero is configured as well. Okay, perfect. Now let's end this. Now we can configure RIP while we're over here. No, actually, I'm not going to do that. I want to set up both networks and I want to try to ping before configuring the routing protocol between the two routers. I want to ping from PC1 to PC2 and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's X out of here. Let's go ahead and bring up R2. Get this bad boy configured. Okay, so we're going to do show IP interface brief. Okay, we can see all the interfaces. Perfect. Configure terminal interface. I'm going to go a little faster on this one. And we're going to do IP address 192.168.200.1 with a 24 bit mask. Perfect. No shutdown. Bring that protocol up. And the same thing, we can test PC2 to 192.168.200.1, and it should be successful. And I'll check that in a minute. So that should be it for this, this, uh, this interface. So let's go ahead and do the serial interface, okay? Interface serial, zero slide, zero slide, zero. Okay, perfect. So now here we can do IP address 172.16.100.2 with a 30 slash 30, 252. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I just save that config. So we're looking good as far as all the connections are connected, all the IPs are assigned, all the interfaces are up. The only thing that's missing is the routing. But before I do the routing, I wanna show you something that I think is pretty important so you can see a before and after. And when we do a trace route, you can see how it actually is traversing through the network. Okay, so if I do a ping to, of course, we're gonna be able to reply to its own gateway, right? On the 192.168.100. Now let's change this one to a two and it says destination host unreachable. The reason being because there's no routing between the two routers, so it doesn't know how to reach its network. Okay, so you get that. Now let's go ahead and configure rest in peace. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the routing information protocol, RIP. So do, do configure terminal, router, RIP. 
Okay, so now we're in the RIP um, configuration. We can do version two, because that's what I said in the beginning. So now the network we're going to be doing on router one, we have to allow this network, 100, and then this network, okay? So let's do network 192.168.100.0, perfect. Network 172.16.100.0, perfect. Okay, so that should be it for router one. So if we do end show IP route, we can see it there. We can do show IP protocols. We can see that the routing protocol is RIP, okay? And we can see everything that's configured here, okay? Perfect. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other uh, on the other router, okay? We did the clock rate, right? Uh, yeah, I think we did that, yeah. All right, so let's do the same thing over here. So we'll do uh, exit out of here. All right, so now we're going to be doing let's do show um, show IP interface brief. Just want to make sure the protocols are up. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to do router rip. Okay, so we're going to do version two. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to do the network on this side, which is 192.168.100.0, oh, my bad, 200.0, okay? And then network 172.16.100.0, okay? And this, show IP protocols, we can see the networks there. Perfect. This is going to be the gateway. Perfecto. So let's do show IP route. Perfect. All right. So you can see the rip, um, the rip learn route right here. Let's give it a second. And technically, if this all works right, and I know a little bit about networking, I should be able to ping from PC one through the router to router two, all the way to PC two. Let's see if we can do that, okay? So let's go to, remember it was failing down here, right? We were trying to ping it right here and it was failing. So let's go ahead and try it again. Now it is replying. That is great news, isn't it? So our routing protocol RIP is working, but how is it getting there, right? Like how do we know that it's going through the router and through this router and through the other router and back to the, you know, uh, to the host? There's a way we can do that, and it's called trace route, right? We can do trace route, same command in Windows, and we can trace route to 192, 168.200.2, right? Because that's this PC. And now it's gonna show the whole path to get there. Don't worry, three is probably gonna fail because the ARP, and if I do it again, it's gonna work. So that's the process of RIP. So it's going from PC1 to R1, from R2 to, from R1 to R2, from R2 to the PC2. And this just shows you the path right here. All right, so now you guys know how to configure RIP version two on a Cisco router. Hopefully this has been informative for you guys and I really enjoyed it and thank you for viewing and I appreciate it. Please subscribe, share with your friends, smash that bell so you get alerts and let's get on the cisco journey together it's almost 2020 so a lot of good things happening new ccna is coming out so it's the best way to learn so hopefully you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day